Welcome to this video. It's about uh, a Kensington lock and uh, here it is. If you buy one of these, it's uh, the cable is attached like, like this to the lock. And I think you, you all know um, how it works. So you wrap around the other end um, around something um, permanent and this one, the lock, um, this end goes into the housing of the laptop. And if you look at the at the end of the of the lock, looks like this. To get the camera to focus, yeah. And if it's in the unlocked position, this little bar here is aligned like so, and it fits in a lengthy hole in the computer housing. And then you lock it, and um, the bar is then aligned like this, and it doesn't go out anymore. So uh, when I got this lock, uh, I tried to pick it and I was successful in picking it at least once. Then I turned it um, and I turned it too much. So it um, is now locked again uh, in the next position where the upper pins are aligned um, to the position of the lower pins. And um, the lock doesn't or the, the, co the inner core does not does not turn anymore. And I tried to pick it again and to bring it into the uh, unlocked position, but uh, no luck. Uh, so um, yeah, and, and 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 the key doesn't help any. Uh, also not because um, you see how it is um, designed. You have this um, this deep part here, and um, this needs to go um, in this housing, and you can stick the key in. Uh, only if the key, if the lock is in the unlocked position, because then um, this groove and that groove is aligned, and the key then fits, and now it uh, won't go uh, won't go in. And and also uh, try to to remove the nose from the uh, from the key, and now it it fits, but. Also, it doesn't it doesn't turn. So I will I will uh, open the lock and see what's in, and then maybe I understand what's going on here. So hold on. If you look at the part of the lock uh, that goes into the housing of the laptop, you see that there is a a ring that can be removed. So let's take it away, and then you can take away the the housing part of the lock that. Um, Helds the cable, so this this can be removed, and it um, gives you a gives you the complete core. Camera to focus gives you the core, and I think to further uh, disassemble it, uh, we need to drill out this this pin here, and there's another pin there. So, yeah, I will take my drill and see how that goes. So hold on. All right, the pins are gone and I can take away the different parts. So let's start. Everything everything is is free. So this is the outer housing. Nothing special here. Do it away. Then three parts are remaining. The lower part that holds the the pins that go inside the computer housing. Take this away. Uh, let's inspect it. Okay, there is just um, band wires that uh, hold the hold the lock in in the computer housing. Tied it up. Okay, this is how it looks like. Take this away, and here is the actual lock. And okay, carefully try to separate these parts. Here we are. So 
This is the part where the where the pins um, with the springs are in. So you can see how it looks like. The spring is still in place. If you closely look to the pins, get the camera to focus. You can see all all of the seven all all of the seven pins beside one have uh, little grooves on their top, and one uh, seems to be the gatekeeper, which is a normal pin. And they are all, of course, spring loaded. Ah, here we are. Here we have one spring. So this is the lower part and here is the, the key part with the pins. And I take a I take a key. And if I stick in the key you see that they have all now the same height. So if you if if the correct key is inserted, um, the shear line is is free and you can you can turn the core. I will reassemble it now. Uh, and this is the unlocked position. And if you stick in the key or oh, first without key of course it's it's locked then you stick in the key now you have a the shear, the shear line is clear and you can you can turn it forth and back and what I did is I turned it just one position and then See here in this uh, in this little space here, one of the uh, spring-loaded pins jumped in, and that was the reason why I could not pick it to turn again back to the unlocked position, nor using um, this manipulated uh, key without the nose because without the nose I cannot uh, push down this pin. So. Although other all the all the other pins are set to the correct height, it is still not possible um, to turn the lock. And that's what the nose is good for. The nose is good for, of course, tensioning, but also for keeping the the pins uh, at the level of the shear line while turning the core, while turning, while turning forth and back. So. I thought the nose is just um, well it's just for fun or just for, for addi applying additional tension but uh, I didn't uh, think enough and of course it's necessary to to keep pushed down uh, the lower pins at the level of the shear line okay so now it's clear what happened um, hold on and I will um, take away all the parts that you can see it at a at a glance. Okay, see you. All right, so everything is gutted, and we can have a closer look to the to the pins and to the and to the holes. Yeah, here we have the the driver pins. They are spring loaded uh, with steel springs, as you can see here. They are magnetic. And the uh, driver pins, we have seven pins in total, are all the same beside of one. So this is the one that is different and six of them look like this with a little groove on the top. If, the, if I can get the camera to focus, yes. I think you can make this out. So this is the one of six with a little groove on the top and this is the only one that uh, is straight.
right. Then we have the key pins here. These are these are the key pins. They have different uh, lengths, of course. Can give you a closer look to that. They look like this. And these are the key pins. And of course the different uh, length uh, matches match the the cutouts, the different uh, cutouts on the on the key. Okay, and as we as we saw the the grooves on the on the driver pins here again, that's a driver pin. The groove, um, those um, can hang perfectly here in the in the grooves on the on the plate where the the key pins are. So this makes picking a little bit harder. All right, that's it. So that's the Kensington lock, picked but not on camera, and disassembled and explained. Thank you very much for watching, bye bye, and happy picking.